Hi guys, this is my next look, and this is a French Revolution uh, 1700s inspired look. Um, I hope that you like it. It's very pale. You don't necessarily have to do it quite this pale, but this is what I sort of associate when I think of that era. Um, when I was doing it, I kind of had in mind Colotta from Phantom of the Opera. Uh, there's a scene where she's dressed up and she has this, if you've seen the movie or the play, she has this enormous wig on and she has this enormous dress. Um, and she's very pale, very theatrical. She has music notes painted on her back and she has stars along her collarbone and beauty spots and things like that. So. I kind of had her in mind. I kind of also had Mary Antoinette in mind as well, but I suppose it's not really aimed to be anybody in particular. But this is just what I've done. I also have a, a tutorial on how you can do the hair as well. Um, ideally you'd have slightly longer hair than me, but this is the best I could do with what I have. So I hope that you like it, stay tuned, and I will show you the tutorial. So you can start off by applying a white base all over your face. You can bring that down onto your neck, ears and chest as well. If you don't want to have it extremely pale you can use a foundation with a little bit of white pigment or white liquid in it, depends on what type of foundation you use. I was using a water based um, colour from my Grimace palette to start with but I found it really difficult to apply evenly so I ended up switching to a grease paint. Um, water based colours are really good because they're a lot easier to remove from hair and they don't stain clothing. Once you've got the colour on, you can go in with a loose setting powder and then wipe off the excess with a fluffy face or body brush. Now I'm taking a bright pink blush from my Coastal Scents palette. I'm concentrating that colour on the apples of my cheeks to make it really bright and then with what's left over on the brush, I'm just flicking it up towards the top of my ear. If you feel as though it's a little bit harsher than you want to, you can take a brush or the sponge that you use to apply your white colour and just dab it around the edges to blend it and soften it a bit more. I find that grease paint tends to crease on me quite a lot, particularly around my eye area, so I'm just going in with a primer. I'm using Painterly by MAC, and then I'm going over it with a white matte eyeshadow, again from my Coastal Scents palette, just to bring that colour back to white after the skin coloured primer. For this particular look I wanted to keep everything quite matte so I'm going in with a light purple from my Coastal Scents palette and this is from the 42 matte eyeshadow and blush palette and I'm just putting that all the way across my lid up into my crease. Now I'm taking a darker purple and I'm just working that into the crease. I'm working that in the crease um, all the way around the eye, so the inner and the outer corner as well. And I'm just applying this with a really fluffy brush because I want it to be really soft and blended. You'll notice for this look that I'm actually not going to fill in my brows. You can if you want to, particularly if you have light coloured brows, but I think that mine are already looking dark enough against that white paint. And I don't want them to be too dark. I want them to look kind of matte as if they have a powder pressed into them. I am taking a brow highlight and the one that I'm using is from my Hello Kitty palette, which is not too intense, it's just a low pearl finish, so it's not going to distract too much from the look. Now I'm taking a liquid liner, the one that I'm using is Revlon Colorstay. I'm lining my lashes, but I'm not extending that line out too far past my natural lash line. I don't want to wing it or extend it, I just want to define my eyes a little bit and make my lashes look a little bit thicker. So the line that I'm doing is quite thin as well. Now you can curl your lashes. When you curl your lashes, make sure to work the eyelash curler all the way down your lashes from the root to the tip. That way you have a nice even curl, not just one big kink. 
and then you can go in with some mascara. I'm using a nice black. The one I'm using is La Stiletto by Maybelline. And if you want to, you can now add on some false lashes as well. They can be a little bit tricky to apply, but practice makes perfect, and they do really polish off a look. Now, I always manage to do this just out of shot. <laughs> I'm really sorry about this. But I'm taking a pink um, lip liner. The one I'm using is Plum by Ben Nye, and just lining my lips. At the Cupid's bow, I'm making it quite exaggerated into a point, which to me is a little bit more theatrical, which is what I wanted to go for. And then take a brush or a q-tip or even your finger and just smooth out that line so that you're not left with a ring around your lips if your lipstick fades. I just like to blend it down a little bit and then go in with my lip colour. Now the one that I'm using here is a mix of different colours from my Kryolan lip palette. I'm just putting that over top of my lips. In a deep pink colour, I'm not using a red, I wanted to use a darker pink instead. And because I have such an exaggerated and pointed Cupid's bow, I want to go back and make sure that it's really neat and tidy. I think if you're going to do something that's really severe and exaggerated like that, you do need to make sure that it's really neat. Okay, now the fun bit. I'm taking that same liquid liner and I'm just going to draw a beauty spot on my cheekbone just underneath my eye. I'm doing a little heart, but you can do any shape that you want, whether it's a diamond or a triangle or a circle. I just wanted to do a heart, because hearts are cool. And you could also do one by your lip if you wanted to. Mine doesn't look quite right with my piercing, but now that my piercing has gone, I think it would look cool. It's only been gone for a week, but already I miss it so. <laughs> okay, so now I am drawing stars along my collarbone up towards my shoulder. And this was really inspired by um, Colotta in Phantom of the Opera. If you've seen the movie, you'll know which bit I'm talking about. Um, it might be easier for you to get somebody else to draw them on for you. Um, I was really struggling to do it in the mirror myself, so I ended up doing a Star of David, which is a lot easier to just draw a triangle inside a triangle. Um, but play around with it, or get somebody else to help you. That's basically the whole look, guys. I really hope that you enjoyed it. Feel free to rate, comment, and subscribe if you liked it. Take care, everybody. Bye.